if you are asked to find the square root of 0 0.34 0 0.3249 without a calculator okay let's even leave this one as we are asked to find the square root of 5184 without a calculator what will you do and how are you going to approach it and you are giving just three seconds to do that welcome to my channel if this is the first time you're coming around please stick around and trust me you're going to enjoy the ride and if you are a returning viewer i love you so much okay today i'm going to discuss how to find square root of what numbers without calculate i will advise you watch to the end to see the whole procedure okay or the whole process all right we are going to start from the simplest which is square root of one nine six to do that first thing you need to do for me is you need to memorize the square of numbers from zero to nine the square of numbers from zero to nine so we start from zero now zero squared is what zero yeah one squared is one two squared is two is four sorry three squared is nine four squared is 16 five squared is 25 six squared is 36 seven squared is 49 8 squared is 64 and 9 squared is 81. Alright, now the next thing is you need to note the last digit of all these squares. Their last digit. Now note that the last digit of 1 and 81 is the same. Okay? The last digit of 4 and 64 is the same. The last digit of 9 and 49 is the same. The last digit of 6, 4 and 6 is what the same. That is 16 and 36. The only one standing out is 25. That is the square of 5. And that also means, and another one that stands out is this 0. Okay? Okay, I want you to see how easy it is to memorize which one and which one have the same last digit. Notice that 1 squared and 9 squared, their squares have what? The same last digit. Add 1 to 9, you are going to get 10. The same thing with 2 and 8. Add 2 to 8, you are going to get 10. So each of them have the same last digit. 3 and 7 will give you the same last digit because 3 plus 7 is 10. 4 plus 6 will give you the same last digit. And like I said, only 5 is out now what are we doing with that let's start from the first one we are asked to find the square root of one nine six the first thing you need to do is the last digit here okay the last digit here is six what squared is going to give you a number that ends with six okay that ends with six now we have two numbers that will give us that that is 6 or 4, right? Because 6 squared is 36. And 4 squared is what? Sorry, 4 squared is 16. Ends with 6. And 6 squared is 36. Ends with 6 as well. So just leave it because we are still going to consider which of the numbers we are going to pick for our solution. Now you are going to what? Cancel the last two digits. And you are left with just one. What number squared is going to give us a number that is close to 1 or that is 1 but it shouldn't be more than 1? And the solution is 1 because 1 squared is 1, okay? So we are going to pick 1. So this one is 1. Now, how do we know if we are going to pick a 6 or if we are going to pick 6 or 4? It's very easy. After 1, we have what? 2. 1 times 2 is 2. Okay, now this two, this one we have here is less than two. So we are going to pick the lesser number, which is four. So this implies that square root of one nine six is equal to 14, 14. It's not clear, right? Don't worry. Let's continue. Okay, you are going to understand it by the time we are done with all of them. Just stay put. 
gradually gradually you are going to understand it now let's solve the second one all right now the second one is square root of five two nine square root of five two nine all right as usual the first thing we need to do is we need to consider this nine first okay now what number squared is going to give us a number that ends with nine we have two numbers and they are what seven and what three yes because seven squared we give you 49 okay and three squared we give you nine so both of them have nine nine in as the end number as the number that ends them so but don't bother we are going to find out the one to pick soon okay now you are going to cancel the last two digits and when you do that, we are left with only five. Five will remain, right? Yes. So when you have five, what number squared is going to give us a number that is close to five or five, but it shouldn't be more than five. And that is two, because two squared will give us four. If we should pick three, three squared is nine, which is obviously more than five. So it is two. Now, our solution will either be 27 or 23 so which of them are we going to pick as our answer after two you have three so multiply two by three okay so we have two times three which is six now this five is it lesser than six or greater than six obviously five is less than six we are going to pick the lesser value here which is three so it means that 23 squared will give you what? 529. You can press your calculator. Or uh, square root of 529 will give you 23. Okay. Let's solve the third one. Square root of 625. This one, everyone knows this. Even without a calculator, we all know that square root of 625 is 5. But let's just solve it using this uh, method, okay? Now, square root of 6 to 5, the last digit is 5. No, remember that 5 is the only one that stands out. This is the only one that doesn't have a twin when it comes to the number, uh, when it comes to the ending, all right? This is the only one that is just standing out. So, obviously, is what is 5. Because 5 squared will give us 25, and 25 ends with 5. All right. So, we are going to cancel out the last two digits. And when we do that, we are left with only six. So what number squared are we going to get a number that is closer to six, but no more than six? So it's obvious the solution is two. Because two squared will give us four. Okay? Two squared will give us four. But three squared will give us nine, which is more than six. So it's obvious is what? Two. And our solution is 25. <laughs> okay now let's solve number four square root of five one eight four remember you need to sit put we still have decimals to look into okay we still have decimals to look into all right now square root of five one eight four we are going to pick the last number which is four what number squared it's going to give us a number that ends with four. We have two possible values, and they are what? Two and eight. Now, two squared will give us four. Eight squared will give us 64. So both of them ends with four. Like, as usual, do not disturb yourself, okay, about... Which of them are we going to choose? Let's first concentrate on getting this. We need to cancel the last two digits of this number. And we are left with 51. Now, what number squared are we going to... When we square that particular number, we are going to get a number that is close to 51, but not more than 51. And that number is 7. Because 7 squared will give us 49. Now, obviously, 8 squared is 64, which is already more than this. So, we are going to pick what? A 7 for this. 
now it's time to decide which of these numbers we are going to choose from okay we are going to choose now um seven after seven we have eight okay now seven times eight is 56 right yes seven times eight is 56 now 51 is obviously less than 56 so we are going to pick a lesser number which is two so it means that square root of 5184 is equal to 72. You can see how easy that is. Okay, now let's solve. I won't solve this one because it's very clear you understood what I did. So I'm not going to solve this one. I would advise you to solve it yourself. Okay, solve this one yourself. Now let's enter into the decimal numbers. So the first decimal number is 40.96. 40.96. Okay. Now, we first of all consider this 6. Which number squared is going to give us a number that ends with 6? But before that, if this is the first time you are seeing this lovely face, the first time you are coming across this channel, please subscribe to the channel and also on your notification bell so that you'll be notified anytime i upload a new video okay um don't forget to like comment and share very important share to your friends okay all right now this is it the number we are looking for is either six or four because six squared will give us 36 and four squared we give us what? 16. Now, let's forget this. Put your decimal point. Put your decimal point. Now, we have 40 to consider. This 40, what number squared? We give us a number that is close to 40, but not more than 40. And that is um, 6, right? Yes, because 6 squared, we give us 36. 7 squared is 49, which is obviously more than this. So, we have a 6. So this means that our solution is 6.6 .6 or 6.4. So how do we know the one that is the solution? After 6, we have 7, right? Now, 6 times 7 is obviously 42, right? 6 times 7 is 42. And 40 is less than 42. So we are going to pick the lesser number, which is 4. So this simply means that square root of 40.96 is 6.4 okay so it's 6.4 that is the solution all right now let's solve um this one this number seven remember we have 0 0.32 so calm down let's get to this place all right now for square root of 14.44 we are going to start from here the last digit is four so which number will you square to get 4 as the last digit. And th that is um 64, which is 8, right? 8 is 8 and um, 2. So it's going to be 8 or 2. So permits me to stand here. It's just that I felt like standing here is better. But let me stand here. Since I don't have space, that's fine. So we are discussing this. This one. Square root of... 14.44. Okay. So the last digit we said is either what? An 8 or a 2. Now, we put our decimal point. Which number will you square to get a number close to 14? And that number is nine. Um, is 3, right? Because 3 squared will give us 9. But 4 squared will give us 16, which is obviously more than 14. So it is what? nine um is three sorry so we now we are now left with is it going to be 3.8 or 3.2 so which one is it going to be well obviously um after three we have four so we say three times four this will give us 12 three times four will give us 12 and 14 is obviously bigger than 12 or larger than 12 so we are going to pick a larger figure, which is 8. So this simply means that square root of this is equal to 3.8. Okay. 
let's enter this. This one with 0 0.200 whatever. So 0 0.3969. Square root of 0 0.3969. Now, because we have 0 points, okay, then let's pick 0 points first. Now, we choose the next two digits, which is what? Which is 39. Excuse me. 39. The two digits are 39 because it's not up to 39. It's 39. All right. This 39, which number will you square to get a figure or a number that is close to 39 but not more than 39? And that is 6 because 6 squared will give us 36. So we write 6. Now, for the remaining two digits, we need what? A number. That when we mod, when we square it, you are going to get the last digit of the solution will be what nine, and that number is what either a three or a seven. Okay, so it's either three or seven. Now, how do we know the one to pick six times so another six? You have seven, right? Now, six times six is thirty six. Six times seven is forty two. So the forty two that we got. Now, it's very obvious that 39 is less than 42, okay? So, you are going to pick the lesser number, which is 3. So, this implies that square root of 0 0.3969 is equal to 0 0.63. We are going to choose the lesser figure. All right. The last but not the least, we have square root of 0 0.2025. 0 0.2025. Okay, so let's solve this. When you look at this one now, we have zero points. Then we pick the next two digits, which is what? Two, which are two and zero. Now, what do we do? Um, the number that when we square it, we are going to get a number that is close to 20, but no more than 20. And that is four. Four squared is 16, okay? So we pick four. Now, we go back to the next one. You choose the last digit, which is 5. Remember, whenever I, say, I talk of 5, the solution is 5 already. Why? Because oh, it's only 5 that each square ends with 5. Okay? So it's 5. And that is it. 0 0.45. Now, I'd like you to drop this in the comment section for me. Square root of 0 0.3249. Thank you so much for watching and have a lovely day. Bye.